if you placed first, Alistair Smith placed second, mm -hmm. then Slavoj Bednar was third. Yep. And we also had um, James Fleming. James Fleming. And Christian Lacoche yes. and Rodrigo Atis. Yes. So there was a pretty good lineup, a very good lineup. Fantastic lineup, yeah. <laughs> um, what do you think it's going to be like at the universe? Whether you compete or not, I think you, you've got the right to, uh, to weigh in on this. So, um, I do think it's going to be as competitive. You know, all them guys there on their day are capable of winning any show, World's Universe, or any other pro show going. Add in the likes of Dave Titterton, mm. um, Tony Mount. You know, well, I was going to say, yeah, Tony, Tommy, Dave. Yeah, Tommy. Uh, Ender wasn't there, but, but yeah, Tony, Tommy, and Dave guys, were there. You know, Stuart Garrington. Yep, yep, the big Stuart was there. All them guys there to me, I've stood beside most of them, and you know, it's, they're all fantastic. I, I, if I was competing and all them boys were competing, it would be a fantastic lineup. I wouldn't want to be putting money on who's coming out on top, but if every one of us or every one of them come in at their best, yeah. it, it would be some fight to the finish. It would be a fantastic pro universe. Um, and obviously, we know that Lee Priest is going to be out in England at the end of this year for the universe. We don't know whether he's going to compete or not, but he certainly will be at the universe. So, uh, what do you think that's ooh, what do you think that's going to do for the universe, and what do you think that'll do for Naba Pro? Well, to me, Lee Priest is the pinnacle of last year's universe. You know, you've seen one of the best bodybuilders ever in the world. Um, that to me was taken too lately by another federation to come back out and being near his best, if not at his best, and doing what he does best. You know, to me, having that sort of man in the sport behind you is only good and positive for all the athletes. You know, one of the big one of the big things in the universe last year was actually getting to see Lee Priest mm. first hand, and to get standing beside him on a stage, you know, losing to him would be an honour at the end of the day. It'd be something that you. You know, you could go way happy enough with if you get a second place to leave place. I don't think anybody can turn around and say they, they were arguing with that decision. You know, I think you'd go to bed sleeping. But to me, it's only good for the sport. You know, you've one of the best bodybuilders to come out of Australia. You've one of the best bodybuilders ever to come out of the world. Fantastic genetics, fantastic shape. Um, and an amazing person, lovely to speak to. And I think it's a great ambassador for Nabla. Now, there's another gentleman from down our way, Steve Orton. Uh, yeah. He won the he won the he world's won the, the, on the over, overall worlds last year, yes. and we didn't have a pro division then. But I don't know whether he's going to do the universe this year. I've heard rumours that he might, but we're not sure. Um, how do you think he'd go, Steve? Because he, he's a Ian, he's a big unit. He's <laughs> one of the boys that will be right up there. I seen uh, I seen pictures of him before he competed in the worlds last year, and I seen the worlds last year, and. His legs are out of this world amazing. I don't think anybody in that field could match him from the waist down, hamstrings, billowing quads, billowing glutes, you know, hanging down, everything was there. Upper body to match, young, mm. potential everywhere. A few more years behind him competing, and I would say it'd be one of the boys would be very hard to beat. Mm. Even at the universe this year, I wouldn't want to be standing beside him. So I wouldn't, you know. And on the other side of things, you know, in, in Melbourne, we've got uh, Jake Nicolopoulos. Who doesn't have, three, yeah, doesn't have the size, but the the proportion, the symmetry, his shape, shape. is just out yeah. of this world. I've hey, seen him compete again in class three, thought again fantastic. Seen him a few years back as well and made unbelievable gains mm -hmm. up to last year. And again, he'll be definitely another one up there. Like coming out of Australia, I mean, with them two, and your man even Reid, I don't know if he's gonna go in the classes or not. You know, that's three fantastic athletes, and your man that plays second at the weekend, David. Dave Cutler, yeah. You know what I mean? So you, you have four athletes there that are quite capable of coming in and rocking the boat at any opportunity, you know. Steve, to me, would be the standout. Um, I just think that man oozes potential. Yeah. And I think, to be honest with you, he definitely will be a force to be reckoned with if he competes in the universe. And again, on the pro stage. And it just shows you the depth of athletes actually coming forward. That all them guys, even the guys this side of the water, Brazil, you know, Australia, the, the talent's there. And if all them guys got together and did one show, it would, it would be a show for the masses. It would be off the hook. Well, we're, we're hoping to draw a lot of, uh, we're hoping to draw them all to the universe this year. And we're hoping to draw as many people as we can to Sydney next year for the Lee Priest Classic. I think that'd be fantastic. I do think the Lee Priest Classic's one of my radar. Yeah, well, we'd love you to come. Especially with the wife. She can be packing her bags probably for life. It's going to put her on the plane after the Lee Priest Classic's going to be the issue. So I would simply say suddenly it'll be a foregone conclusion, to be honest. The bar definitely raises every year. It does. Yeah. It definitely does. Um, as I say, I should be say some of the best at the weekend. And I'm, I'm, I'm delighted to win. I'm sure the universe, the stand will be raised even further. And I'm sure the Lee Priest Classic 
it'll go up even further and that's the brilliant thing about it. It keeps us on our toes, it keeps us improving and you know you have to move forward in order to be competitive You know, every year, otherwise you're just going to get stuck in a rut. Vickers Mark competed for Saturday, he's in training tonight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>